Hello YouTubers, so today's video will be on tapping one of these Bogan MB8 TSQ slash MB8 TSL 70 volt speaker. We're going to cover this and a Harris because they're both similar to each other in terms of the front, but they have different tap configurations. So we'll start with this one first. This was brought up, brought up by a viewer that's Potentially interested in getting one of these for Christmas, so Yeah, they they don't give you a tap chart in the back of this one like they do with the ceiling speakers I don't know why Bogan does that, but I printed out a chart right here. It's the exact same thing As you can see So right now I just have an amplifier going JBL CSMA 180. I have this tapped at 4 watts couple alligator clips going to my 70 volt output so obviously this yellow here goes to 70 volts so if you go down the 70 volt column here it might help to print one of these out too or look at a picture it's the same thing four watts which is correct if you had were to use this on a 25 volt system the same yellow wire and the common wire. Obviously, the common's the same on all of them. You're going to really go down to the 25-volt column. And you're going to see it uses half a watt. I don't know if you can see. It says it right there, too. There's one for 25 volts, which is the one you see at the very top. And then the second one down is 70 volts. So you see a four on the bottom and then right on the top of it, you see half. You can look at the transformer too and you can see it. And then it goes all the way down to one eighth of a watt. So I'll break this down. Yellow, yellow here is four. This is just the 70 volt side. This is four, green is two, blue is one. And this wire that looks like it's black, it's actually violet or purple. This one is half a watt. Don't get this confused with common. This is violet slash purple. Gray is a quarter of a watt or one fourth. And this one is an eighth of a watt, which is one eighth. This is, th these wires can all be used on, 75, on a 70 volt system. And these other three here, which I'll cover, I'll, we'll start with the blue here. If you're going to use this on a 25 volt system, I'll put those wires out to the side because they're not needed. This on a 25 volt system will be 1 eighth. This green here would be a quarter or 1 fourth of a watt. This yellow would be a half. And then going all the way up to the top. Now, these other wires, except the black, if you're going to use on a 70 volt system, do not use any of these other ones on the top. This is for 25 volt operation only. So we go all the way back here. We'll continue off where we left. So this orange is one watt at 25 volt. This red is two watts on a, seven, on a 25 volt system. And this brown here, it looks like it's black, but it's brown. Is four watts on a 25 volt system. And then obviously this is common. This is always used. Regardless of whatever taps you're using. This is always used. This is your negative. The rest are just your positives. Don't get overwhelmed by these wires. It's not that it's not too difficult to figure out. So I'll put my camera here on the tripod so you can kind of hear a difference. I might put a I might blow a picture of that up too in the video so you can kind of see. Let me get this set up for you. Okay, so I got this set up on a tripod. I'm gonna play some music so you can kind of we're only gonna test the, the 70 volt side here. So right now this is at four watts. I'm gonna take this red here coming off of my amp, the positive. And I'm going to touch it on each of these wires. So I'm touching green right now. This is 2 watts. 
We're going to be touching blue next. This is one watt. And then here is half a watt. This is this is violet slash purple. Here is a quarter of a watt or one fourth of a watt. This is gray wire. And then here is an eighth of a watt or one eighth of a watt, which is white. This is the white wire. So that's each of the taps on the 70 on the 70 volt system. This is assuming if you're using just a 70 volt system. And again, there's a picture here. There's a blow up of it. Save exact everything. Just go down the columns and then find, if you're using a 70 volt, let's say one watt, you're gonna go all the way down to one watt on the 70 volt side. And then you're gonna correspond that to blue. So it goes down blue. So then I'm gonna go find that blue wire Go digging my mess of wires here coming off of the transfer. Here's blue. Okay. We're going to take my positive. And there's one watt. And your negative is always going to connect to the common. As you can see here. That's what this common represents here. Common's always going to be used. So black and then it goes to both columns is common. That applies to both sides to be specific. So here's black. I'm going to connect this. And I'll connect with the blue because I want this at one watt for my application. So yeah, that is how you deal with one of these Bogan MB ATSQ slash SL box speaker. That many of you have been requesting me to make a video on. So there's the front right there. Next up, we're going to do the Harris. Okay, guys. So I'm back here with the Harris here. Slash a Quab C10 speaker here. Now, the taps on this are completely different from, from the Bogan box speakers that you usually used to. Here's the front of it here. I believe this one's the one that got pulled out of a Home Depot store. Because it's all yellowed. Notice the yellowing in the front and then in the back it's white. Yeah, this is definitely at a Home Depot store. I bought it used off of eBay. It had a different back box. One of the Bogans is newer back boxes. But, but here's the taps in the back here. So brown and... The brown in the back of this here is pretty much the same on all of Quam's, at least Quam's C10 speakers. So, brown, this is 4 watts. So this is 4 watts. Red is 2 watts. The orange here is 1 watt. The yellow is a half a watt. And then the green wire is a quarter of a watt. That's the middle of that this could do is a quarter of a watt. Unlike the Bogans, you could go down to an eighth of a watt. Then they don't give you a, a chart on the back. The usual quads don't do that. It's that's usually more so a Bogan, but there's the back here. And then black is obviously your common. So as you can see, you got well, we're going to go to the top here. We have C, 4, and 2. Those correspond to each wire here. As I mentioned. And then on the bottom, you see a 1, a half, and you barely see a quarter. I'll try to get this in here so you can see. There we go. We're looking at the bottom set of numbers under the Quam 9550. We have 1, a half, and a quarter. 
Now, obviously, I'm not going to undo this electrical tape. I'm going to leave it like that. Because I don't like... Ha I don't like having my wires floating around all exposed. And that's a thing to bring up with you guys. If you guys get this kind of stuff, usually all the wires will be pre-trimmed for you, but you're only using two out of all whatever amount of wires that's coming out of the transformer. If you guys are not using, honestly, if you don't, if you're not, if you have a bunch of unused taps, either trim off all the excess Trim, trim all the excess wire off. You're going to cause a short. Or what I like to do is I like to individually wrap each of the wires. You know, it's a completely isolated from all the other wires. And then I, you know, throw them all together like this. I combine them all together with the, all the ends taped off. And then I just do one final wrap around. Wrap all these up so that way they're not floating around. So... I see this, and I've actually seen it with speakers I got from eBay, where they were pulled from a from a working environment, and they literally the sellers literally just leave the wires hanging <laughs> everywhere, no wire nuts, no no tape. They just leave them. That's bad. Don't ever do that. That will kill your amplifier like this. So here's the Harris. AKA the Home Depot speaker. Very different from the Bogan. I'll grab the Bogan and put them side by side here so you can see. Completely different. And both of these are used at Home Depot stores, by the way. Older Home Depot locations will use this, and then the much newer locations use this. And the very, very new Home Depot locations, they'll probably within the last five years will use one of these newer bogus. By the way, it's got the same driver taps as this, so it's nothing different. It's the same. But Quam and Bogans use different transformer configurations. So yeah, I hope you guys found this video useful.